So, if the Nintendo Switch launched with YouTube, I would be using it so much, because I love how I can maybe just go grab something to eat with my Switch console, and after eating, I can just dock it and just watch my videos directly on the TV. But sadly, the Switch doesn't have that. Yet. Because after 4 months of waiting, the Switch is getting its first streaming app. This app will be available on June 13th, so tomorrow as I'm recording this. Will be free to download, I'd hope and will be a Japan exclusive set. So you're not gonna be able to get this anywhere else if you don't live in Japan. And the app is called Nico Nico, and yeah, that's actually the name. Now Tech Insider, which is providing the article, says that they contacted Nintendo about further streaming and video services on the Switch, and they're still waiting a reply. If they do get a reply, I'll be sure to make a video on it. So the only reason I want this app is just to see what streaming services will be like on the Switch, cause, cause I know YouTube probably isn't gonna show up, I'd probably expect for a couple more months, and I wish that we didn't have to wait for it, but I just want to kind of look and see what YouTube and Netflix should act like on the Switch. You know, just the UI design, if it's the expected console edition of YouTube, how well the touchscreen works on it, and just to see if it's comfortable to use. So by coincidence, if you do actually live in Japan and have a Switch and is watching this video, please tell me in the comments what this app is like to use. I would love to hear what it's like using this application. So if you did find this topic interesting, please do share this video on social media. Also, if you have any topics for me to talk about that are tech and gaming related, be sure to PM me on YouTube with the link to the article. I will give shoutouts to people who do send me these articles if you say so in your message. Please also leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below, and see you.